Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The topic of black magic is one that is often shrouded in mystery and fear. However, it is important to understand that black magic, like all other forms of evil, ultimately only has power over us if Allah allows it to. In this discussion, we will explore the nature of black magic, its effect, and how we can protect ourselves from it. Black magic, also known as sir, is a tool used by Satan to deceive, confuse, and mislead people and to create obstructions in their lives. The shaitan, devil, targets three main groups of people with black magic. And we've talked about one group first, which is about really staunch people who have strong iman and these people are not deceived by the regular tools of shaitan. But these three groups are those who do not fall in that first category. These are first, those who are far from religion. Second, who adopt wrong beliefs and religions. Third, who seek knowledge about black magic itself. The first group, those who are far from religion, are vulnerable to black magic because they have left themselves open to the influence of the Satan. The Satan may use black magic to harm their families or loved ones in order to cause them pain and suffering. The second group, those who adopt wrong beliefs and religions, are also vulnerable to black magic. Satan may use black magic to further mislead them and entrench them in their false beliefs. And the third one is a person or a group of people who seek knowledge about black magic. And they are really at risk. The shaitan may use their curiosity and interest in the subject to lure them down to a dangerous path. Even if they believe that they can protect themselves, they may still fall victim to the shaitanic, to satanic, to devil's tricks. However, it is important to remember that the satan can only use black magic if Allah allows it. True believers... Those who have a strong faith in Allah and adhere to the true religion are protected from the effects of black magic. Allah has promised in the Quran that the shaitan will never be able to harm true believers with black magic. So how can we protect ourselves from this abomination, this thing that exists in, in the world, this black magic? The best way to do this is to stay away from it altogether. Don't seek knowledge about it. Don't get close to it. Don't read books about it. Don't try to practice it. Don't even want to think about it. Just know it is there, but do not go close to it because it will suck you as a black hole. And a, a best example for my life, uh, not related to magic, but related to things like my once uh, when we were growing old it was a big thing to have cigarettes and one of our teachers was like if i see you smoking at any point even if you become the president of the country i'll come and slap you and that just one sentence of that teacher back in class seventh or eighth really changed me i mean i like i never smoked at that point or have ever smoked but the point was that that person telling us never to smoke because it is so bad, it just kept us away during those difficult times, especially when you're growing old. Similarly, I am begging people not to get close to this thing. This will suck you in as anything. So now, but it is important to know about it because sometimes these things come from different directions, especially when you're in difficulty, when you're in a uh, bad situation, you think about these things because Satan is whispering into your ears, especially in today's world with Google and everything, you have all the knowledge in front of you. So therefore, it is important to remember that Satan can only influence you if you're going in that direction. So how do we protect ourselves? Uh, number one, we talked about do not go near it, do not talk about it, do not uh, know that it is bad. The second thing is you have to strengthen your faith in Allah and adhere to the true religion. 
This is the best defense against Shaitan, against Satan and his tools of deception. And all of the tools that I've mentioned, they are very deceptive, especially in today's world, because Shaitan, because Satan exists in our pockets, exists in our hearts. It is very easy for us to get deceived by the ornaments, attractions of this world. And I'm going to talk about something really interesting in a couple of podcasts that I've noticed. But basically, have strong faith and do not be distracted by the attractions and things that are in front of us. And have the best way to do that is to continuously remember Allah, to remember God, to remember the Creator. Uh, so in conclusion, black magic is a tool used by the shaitan to deceive and mislead people. However, its effects can only occur, as we talked about previously multiple times, by the will and the permission of Allah. True believers, those who have a strong faith in Allah and adhere to this true religion, are protected from the effects of the black magic. To protect ourselves, it is best to stay away from the magic altogether and focus on its strengthening our faith and relationship with the creator the god allah thank you assalamu alaikum we're going to continue this discussion the next part